Hi everyone. So today we're just at the Ribblehead Viaduct, which I can flip over and show you here. And uh, it's a lovely view. Obviously, it's a view of Ingleborough. I've actually just got the train coming over now, so I'm going to take a couple of, sh couple of shots. And um, we're here today because the Flying Scotsman's coming over. How about that for action, eh? Yeah, so we're just taking a couple of pictures, just of a train going across. And um, we've got about another five minutes and then the Scotsman's coming over. So I just thought I'd uh, do this quick intro. Uh, and I'll potentially be back in a minute and I'll, I'll record the Scotsman going over. So i um, see you all in a minute. So it's been another 10 minutes or so, maybe longer, 20 minutes since I was last speaking to you. The views are, are stunning and I've taken just a couple of pictures anyway. But the Scotsman's currently at least 10 minutes late. Uh, so we're all being kept waiting on this one. And uh, hopefully it won't be too long now, building the, uh, building the tension up. So uh, hopefully we will be back shortly uh, when our subject is here. So see you in a minute. Bye. Well, we can hear her and we can see her. So she'll be here in a sec. And, uh, I'm just going to flip the camera over now and leave it recording for it to cross the bridge. So, see you all in a sec. There we go. Been here for a little while now. And um it's over in about twenty seconds. So. But hopefully we've got some nice shots. I'll let it combine them all in a bit. And uh go from there. See you all in a bit. Bye.
right so that's the photography for the Scotsman done uh, as I said before obviously I'm going to put post some pictures up in between the videos uh, but I think you know if I've taken a couple of others they'll follow after this um, I'm going to go for a bit of a walk and um, join up with a couple of photographers that I've met um, here that I've spoken to online and we're going to go out and shoot a little bit I think so you may see some of those at the end of this video or I may make you wait until next week uh, for this for the next video so until then I'll see you all in a bit <laughs> hello everyone so I've probably made you wait for this one but um, we're here at Charlie's Tree um, if you can hear, if you can hear that rabble in the background, <laughs> we're um, yeah, we're just here shooting Charlie's tree, which pretty nice, pretty nice tree to be fair. Um, obviously, you've got I'll flip back over. Actually, you've got the rocks leading in, and then you've got the viaduct running just across there. I quite like it. I've, I've taken a shot. I've taken a couple of kind of in this area, not moved too far. Uh, I've had a go at landscape and portrait. Um, shooting at 24 mil quite wide, uh, angling my camera down. At this, so you've got a, a decent amount of foreground. I've been bracketing for most of the day to be fair and I've done the same with this, the way the sun's been in and out, um, it was quite bright and casting the tree in shade so I thought I'll, I'll do that. So yeah, I'll, I'll post the, uh, the pictures up in a moment for you to see, let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, so I've taken a couple. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful area to be fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Walk over this area in a little bit. There's another tree just, just over there. So I'm going to go over there in a little bit um, and get some shots. Hopefully, there's some more over there. So I'll be back in in a bit when I've when I've taken this and I've gone over there. See you in a bit. Bye. Welcome back. So earlier on I was shooting the Flying Scotsman going over the Ribblehead Viaduct and we've walked about a mile and a half or so, about my, yeah just about a mile and a half up the road. Um, I'm shooting with a couple of photographers, I'll try and show you, they're actually miles away. There they are down there and um, we've been shooting just a couple of trees that are around the area. So I've come over to this one on my own at the moment, which as you can see, you can just get the archway of the mountain in, which I think is Inglebrand, if I'm correct. But I've, I've decided to shoot it, this first shot, Portraiture because I quite like the fact that I'll see if I can show you on it. I'm looking down. Oh, see, it's not, it's, not, it's not really working, uh, quite bright. I'm shooting down wide at 24 mil and using the rocks to lead in towards the tree. And then, like I said before, the tree you can see that arc, arcing over Ingleborough. So it's quite a nice shot. I've bracketed because the sun is coming in and out and it's been a bit hazy today. I've also done some focus stacking. So I want to make sure at least this bit uh, is, is sharp and focused. I don't mind too much if the mountain is a little bit soft. But um, 
yeah so I've done that hopefully it'll turn out quite well I'm going to try in landscape orientation as well in a moment but if they come out I'll put them on screen for you so have a look now I'm hoping that they do it looks like quite a nice shot that was recommended um, like th this area by a by one of the photographers I'm out with so it's lovely it's a lovely day I'm just hoping the um, the picture comes out so yeah it'll be on screen for you in a sec see you in a minute Right, so I'm back, and I have I've moved back. I don't know, about three foot, maybe four foot, so that I can get this in landscape. And I quite like it. Again, I'll try and show you. It's not really working because of the glare, but quite literally from here, and I've just got the tip of the tree, just kissing the top of the mountain. I quite like it so I'm, I'm just gonna take the shot now and again hopefully it comes out looking good we will see but if it does you'll know because it'll be on the screen I won't know yet but yeah so let me know what you think of it hopefully it'll be half decent see you in a minute Just a quick voiceover. Uh, so we finished taking pictures of the couple of trees and then we started walking back and as we were walking back a, uh, a storm was rolling in. Uh, so I managed to take a couple of short clips which just capture a bit of lightning in the sky. Uh, so I'll put them on just after this now uh, and then that will be the end of the video. Uh, again I didn't get to do an outro. It was absolutely booked and down by the time we got back to the cars. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.